What is up, Rusty Gamers? I'm Rusty Man, and welcome back. This is going to be a new playthrough. We are starting a new Let's Play, if you say, of Civilization V, where we start as Korea and we set up a Korean unification. You can imagine what that means. Okay, so we're going to set up the game. We are currently as Sejong of Korea, Scholars of the Jade Hall. We get plus two science for all specialists and for all great percentile improvements. Receive a tech boost each time a scientific building or wonder is built within the Korean capital. And we get the turtle ship. Oops, did not want to do that. Let's go back. Get the turtle ship and we get the, the Hacha. I think it's the Hacha or Hawacha. Something like that. Map type will be either continents or... You know what? We're going to do rant. No, actually, we do earth. We could do earth. But you know what? We're going to do random. We're gonna straight do random. We're gonna do the map side is actually huge. Their difficulty is gonna be Prince, which is the normal difficulty for the game. We're gonna go advanced setup. We're actually dropping the city states down to like about eight. Is that they, they just get a little crazy? We're gonna do quick movements. We'll keep combat on. That will just speed up the game a little bit. We're gonna do game air. You can see, is all everything else is standard. Let's start the game. And this will be remember Korean unification. They will Greetings to you, exalted banner. King Sejong the Great, servant to the people and protector of the Choson dynasty. Your glorious vision of prosperity and overwhelming benevolence towards the common man made you the most beloved of all Korean kings. From the earliest days of your reign, the efforts you took to provide a fair and just society for all were surpassed only by the technological advances spurred onwards by your unquenched thirst for knowledge. Guided by your wisdom, the scholars of the Jade Hall developed Korea's first written language, Hangul, bringing the light of literature and science to the masses after centuries of literary darkness. Honorable Sejong, once more the people look to you for guidance. Will you rise to the occasion, bringing harmony and understanding to the people? Can you once again advance your kingdom standing to such wondrous heights? Can you build a civilization that stands the test of time? I don't know. Let's find out. So, see, we already have the Scholar's Jade Hall, which I already covered. We get the Turtle Ship and the Hacha or Hacha, something like that. Or Waka, something like that. I think it's the Hacha, though. But let's begin our journey. And let's check it out where we started. Yeah. Uh, we got the jungle up here. We're definitely going to go over to the jungle real quick. Um, normally, I wouldn't be too picky about this, but I mean, we're right here next to the jungle and the water, so totally grabbing the jungle environment just because it provides more food. We also have sugar right here, which is great. That's going to be a nice little resource in the end there. So, next turn. This will make us start later than all the others, most likely, but, you know, that's great. Thanks. Um, and we'll just settle right here, I guess. That'll be fine. Uh, let's just scan around, see what we can find. Ew, says soul. Soul has been founded. All right, so we're going to grab a scout right away. We're going to need to make up for this. Let's open our technology tree. You see pottery leads into sailing calendar. Writing, which basically selling allows for work boats, uh, trade, warships, fishing, you know, blah, blah, blah. Trapping. This is from some animal husbandry, which allows you to reel and take horses, allows you to create pastures for uh, whatever, like cattle, cows, stuff like that. Trapping will allow you to use those tiles. Archery creates archer, obviously, and leads into the wheel, which allows roads and other further advancements into mathematics. Mining allows for the building of any masonry, walls, you know, the pyramids are in there. Structural quarries. Bronze working allows you to obviously create spearmen for their advancements. Calendar is exactly what it sounds like. It pretty much a lot of cultural and faith uh, stuff is up in this tree right here. Um, writing, which will lead to embassies, which we'll probably eventually get to. Um, you can see it goes all the way down. This is nothing crazy new for any civilization game. So, let's get started. I think we moved everybody right? Yep. All right. So, here we go. Let's move around. Just scout out around us. Oh, we have bananas too. Nice. So we got some stone over here. Let's just hope we're alone on whatever this is. 
He's the random map type, so it could just be one gigantic continent it just has our Pangea just with a big land of water around it. Hmm. Yeah. Alright, it's in their turn. The beginning of these games are always a little slower than normal. Get some cows down here too. We got dies. We got furs over there. Like I said, a pretty resource rich area. Kinda like it. A lot of food right in this area over this jungle. I kinda wish I went one over. But that'll be fine, because we get sugar over here. And the jungles will do us fine. Oh, we found Greece. Alexandro say me. He also an acton kai econoston teon. Sure you will. You want to fight? Actually, we don't want to fight them just because they start out with the hoplites, right? That's what they start out with. I think that's what they do. Um, those are pretty nasty. We probably won't want to mess with them right off. Alright, we're going to immediately set that uh, scout to explore and he'll just wander off. Revealing the fog of war. Right. Or the cloud of war as it is in, basically in this case. <laughs> I know I'm so funny. I know. Alright, uh, let's grab a warrior. Give me a warrior up in here. Alright. Let's see what we got. That. Hmm. Soul has grown. Good. Let it be known. The Korean unification is coming. Alright. Here we go. Wait, why am I building mining? Why did I do that? I wasn't thinking straight when I did that. We don't even have stone over here or anything to take advantage of that. Whoops. We're gonna need to get calendar for this sugar though. Fish up here. We don't even have any fish near us, but that's alright. We can work our way up. Or we can even settle over here. Like this actually doesn't even look like a bad spot. Like right there or actually probably over here. So I can take advantage of the fish. There's some great spots over there. Alright. Pantheon has been found and we've just discovered mining. Why did I go into mining? I don't know. I need pottery though. Let's discover pottery. I want to get into mining and just take advantage of the sugar down here. And we have some more bananas over here. Alright, looks like... Might even be like a cheap Pangea type thing. I mean, obviously this is just the start. This used to be one gigantic continent. We're near the, the edge of the map up uh, top, though. I'll just gonna set him on explore. Let him do his thing. This next warrior is definitely gonna be around here. All right. Thing. All right, one more turn. Oh, no, I, need, I need to do something. There we go. Yeah, you go up. We're going to send you up here. Here's our production now. All right. Um, I would, Do I want a worker? Yeah, let's grab a worker. Why not? We're going to grab a worker. Get some barbarians. All right, let's get you back. Alright, so we open this up. We now have the ability to take the calendar, which we are going to do immediately. And that will be done before our worker is out. That way. Away from them. Alright, let's go that way. Go that way. Working out pretty good so far. Soul's grown again. We now have four. Gonna go five and fifteen turns. Nice. All right, yeah, we definitely got the calendar done half the time, almost. That's where wonders are found. It be helpful. Hmm. Is it? I don't think it will be. What do we find? The allure. All right. Oh wait, 
That's not. Uh, I thought that was the uh, scout, <laughs> the warrior. He could fight that. He would win here and probably down here too. So we got 12 turns. We are uh, pretty far down on that list. That's okay. Let's go there. Check this out. Go up here. Now we're gonna probably loop around. Just discover as much as possible right now. It's kind of the goal. Just to build up. Ruins, you're gonna equip yourself with advanced weaponry. Okay, so I turn my scout into an archer. Alright. Kind of not what I wanted, but whatever. Alright. Looks like we're gonna be duking it out here with these guys. We can now adopt the policy, which is great. We're actually I have some do... information that may be of use. Yeah, I know. It's freaking amazing, isn't it? I think we're gonna grab Liberty. No, we are. We're gonna grab Liberty. I plan on expanding quite a bit. And that will just increase like uh, our production and our ability. Produce everything necessary for that. Alright. We're gonna need some walls. Walls will prevent them from uh barbarians from assaulting you. Uh, you know what? I'll take the gold. The embassy's alright. Not really worried about it. Oh, we really didn't kill him. Kind of hoping we'd kill him there. All right, let's say we're gonna have to run him back. Oh, look at these barbarians They're just roaming through like they own the place. Back. We're gonna actually bring them into the city. Having the archers in the city will just double my defense. I'll be able to get them all out of range. Get the hell out of there, bro. We're gonna immediately heal him because we need to. I would normally not do that, but in that situation, probably wise. Let's get you back. Alright, calendar will be done this turn. Or is it one more turn? I think it's this turn. Yeah, calendar. Alright, let's open our technology tree. I think I want sailing. Maybe. Penny, I don't even know. Uh, never mind. We don't want sailing. Hang on. Mm. We're going to grab archery. Where do we want? What do we even have around us? I don't think it's really going to matter right now. We grab masonry. Yeah, we'll grab masonry the walls and it'll help us get to uh classical error a little bit quicker not that we really need to worry about that right now all right and those barbarians are gone there we go we uh, found the encampment. All right. Beautiful. Wait, no, we were going to send him into the city. All right. Four turns for our worker. It's supposed to be finished. We're definitely going to lose that unit. That was dumb. I didn't have to lose that unit. There's no reason to use, lose that unit. Alright, we just expand it a bit. Nice. Alright, cool. Here. Over here. Over here! Alright. Don't listen. Very little. Automate that worker. 
go to production. And uh, we're going to do the granary right away because the granary will provide food. We're going to fortify this archer. Let's go over here and see if we can't do anything about this. We would, def we would lose that. All right. We don't want to do that. Let's heal up a bit. We'll probably fight the next... Uh, Actually, you know what? No, we're going to bring this archer up. That'll help. We'll just back him up. Now you can see they're producing some nice food here. Stalemate. I think if we move out of the uh, jungle, that would help. Nope. All right, so let's fortify until we can get him into range. Next turn. We have her. We did lose our scout. We're going to need to get another scout. All right, there we go. Choose our research. Let's open up what we got. Calendar. Grab archery now. Well, a little bit behind research-wise, but I think we'll be okay. Um, everybody's happy. Happy. <laughs> okay. At least we're happy for now. Um, population is becoming an issue. I mean, they now adopt the policy, which is great. All right, so we want we can either grab plus one production in every city and plus five percent production in every city while constructing buildings, or we can get citizen, which improves the construction rate in which uh, by workers for twenty five percent when near the capital. We're gonna grab this right now. That one can wait. There we go. Launch a nice attack at them. Yeah, how are you doing? That'd be a minor defeat. Oh, you can get promoted though. Through the rough terrain. That actually might give us the, uh, the bonus there. Alright. Yeah, we would get a minor victory now because we're fighting on rough terrain. All right, and they can level up too, which we will give them. We're gonna give them Barat, the rough terrain one as well. This will just improve our ability to fight over here. Kill you. We'll just have these guys launch attacks. Man. All right. Beautiful. Four turns. Our granary is done. Another attack, and then we'll just send these guys in. Finish it off. There we go. Campment is ours. A beautiful thing. Yeah. Launch them. Launch the missiles. The invading barbarians. Barbarians around here. Seal them up. Alright. Now let's go open this up. Gotta grab animal husbandry. I wanna get construction or even horseback riding, but I don't have horses, do I? I don't even know where horses are. I don't think we've seen any horses yet, have we? Yeah, so that won't be of use. We'll grab something else. Next turn. Alright, and this should kill these guys. Yep. Alright. Hope these guys survive this. They should. Yep. Send them back. Heal them up. Choose production of soul since we just finished the what you calls it. We're definitely gonna need a scout. I agree. We still have no clue where Alexander is. Let's 
Let's finish them off. Boom. They're done. Good thing. Alright, let's get our turn. Alright, guys. I need to call this view here. I'm actually going over time. But I am out of fun. Let's see. It will. Alright. Alright. There we go. Boom. Those barbarians are taken care of. And I'm going to call this video here, guys. This has been our start of our Korean unification of Civilization 5. Please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and comment down below. Let me know what you think of Civilization 5 or any other future Let's Plays. Or even my other Let's Plays. I really have out. Thanks for watching, Rusty Gamers. And take it easy.